Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is show you this result here, that if x follows a geometric distribution with the parameter p, p remember is the probability of success, to show you that the probability that x is greater than r is equal to q to the power r, where q is equal to 1 minus p. And I'm assuming that you're familiar already with the geometric distribution and that you've watched the earlier video in this series where I showed you that the probability that x equaled r was always equal to q to the power r minus 1 times p. So how do we prove this result here? Let's start off then with the probability that x is greater than r. And to work out that probability, what I do is 1 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to r. Remember, 1 would cover all probabilities, so we can do the contrary to this, OK? 1 minus then the probability of x being less than or equal to r. And then this would be 1 minus, and for the probability of x being less than or equal to r, this would be the sum of the probabilities of x being equal to 1, plus the probability x equals 2, and we'd carry this on all the way up to x equaling r. So we'll just put plus and so on all the way up to x equaling r. OK, so we've got that part. Now, all I'm going to do next is simplify each of these probabilities by using this result up here. So the probability x equals 1 will be q to the power 0, which will be 1. So it'll just be p. So we've got p there. For the probability that x equals 2, then r is 2. So we're going to have q to the power 1 multiplied by p. So in other words, just qp. And if we carry this on through that formula, probability x equaling 3 is going to be q squared times p. x equaling 4 would be q cubed times p, and so on. So when we get up to the probability x equals r, this is just going to be this result here, q to the power r minus 1 times p. OK? Now, in this bracket, I can see that p is a common factor. So I can pull that out in front of this bracket, leaving us with 1 plus q plus q squared plus q cubed and so on, all the way up to q to the power r minus 1. Now when it comes to simplifying this bracket, we should recognize this as being a geometric series with a common ratio of q. Each term is being multiplied by q when we start off from the first term 1. And there are, in fact, r terms in here, not r minus 1 terms. We've got this extra one here, so we've got r terms here. And we should be familiar then with summing geometric series. Just a brief reminder, which you might have covered in earlier modules. You'll generally see geometric series given like this, a plus ar plus ar squared plus all the way up to ar to the power n minus 1. And we've got n terms in this series here, so the sum of the first n terms turns out to be a times 1 minus r to the power n all over 1 minus r. Now the r here is not to be confused with the r that I've got up here. The r here is the common ratio, okay? the thing that we multiply each term by. So for us, it's going to be q. So you've just got to replace the r here with q. So what we've got then is 1 minus the p here. And for this, this is going to be the sum to r terms, OK? And n would be r terms. So we're going to have the first term, a, which we can see is 1. So just put that in, multiplied with 1 minus the common ratio, which is q here. 
to the power, well it would have been n here, the number of terms, but we've got r terms here. So it's 1 minus q to the power r, and this is all divided by 1 minus the common ratio. So it would be 1 minus q. Okay. Now 1 minus q, if we were to rearrange this formula, 1 minus q would be equal to p. So I can see that 1 minus q is p, and that would cancel into that p there. Okay, it will go once. So what am I left with? Well, we've got the 1 here, minus, and then one lot of this bracket is just going to be 1 minus q to the power r. And if I expand the bracket, then I'm multiplying by minus 1, so I get 1 minus 1 plus q to the power r. The 1's cancel, and that gives me q to the power r, which proves this result. Okay?